Right, so in this video I'm going to show you how to make a cold smoker. Cold smoking is when you flavour your food rather than cook your food with smoke. Smoked salmon, streaky bacon, these kind of things, just smoke's there just to impart flavour um, and just give some taste really. Um, there's one kit, the kit you really do need. It's way, way easier than making a fire and cooling down the smoke. It's one of these, it's called a cold smoke generator. Um, they're easy to buy online and yeah, it's the only bit of kit you really need, the rest of it you can make yourself. So my old smoker here, I made about seven, eight years ago with some more wine boxes, but a cardboard box will do the job just as well. The important thing though, is have holes drilled in the side of it. If you've got, got a little bit of ventilation, the smoke will just build up inside, it'll get very acrid. So any kind of cardboard box, wooden box, some holes inside of it, holes on the top, a couple of holes on the bottom, and then somewhere you can hang your meat up or your fish up, and then one of these. I'll show you how to light one of these in a second. Um, but it's pretty easy. This thing will go for about 10 hours or so without being touched. Um, so once it's lit, candle out, lid on, there you go. I'm actually gonna move this over to a bigger smoker because I've got some bacon and a speck that I don't smoke as well. There's not quite enough space in this one. Um, I've kind of retired this smoker, but I got it out just to show you what a small, cheap setup can look like. Right, the smoker's all loaded up. Um, it's going, as you can see the smoke coming off seal this up and um, come back this evening. As you can see here I've got some vents at the top and the bottom and some slight gaps as well so let the smoke come out a bit so you don't have this sort of acrid build up. It's important to get a little bit of airflow going through there. And this that should be okay. Right, so it's been about eight, nine hours. Uh, so that's all done. Put it in the fridge. There you go. Very easy.